Ghana is actually hmm, out of lockdown, but I don't know if it is safe or not. But today we are going to talk about something very interesting. Yo, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm a Ghanaian based blogger, a blogger about lifestyle, fitness, and practical life experience. So today we are going to talk about fears in marriage. So, so if you are in your early 30s, early 20s, mid 20s, mid 30s, and you are single like me, then you gotta stay tuned because we are going to just we are going to pour our heart out we are going to pour all the fears that is in us, us out today okay so stay tuned so welcome back once again and today you know background story I have actually stayed with my sister for like four five years and she was she was married so I am that person that going that marriage wasn't really that kind of like serious thing to me because I I don't worry myself when it comes to things I can't control because every woman wants to have a responsible man everyone wants to have that tall man that would have that you know that cute that thing that toy and all of that but hello at the end of the day we all describe our kind of man and <laughs> we all end up in something that we are not <laughs> we didn't actually bargain for but still we still have to talk about our fears in marriage so if you are 30 if you are 25 26 and then you feel like yeah marriage is not really my thing <laughs> i'm really scared of marriage then <laughs> sister come and come and join me and let's sing hallelujah hallelujah hosanna 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 you know what sometimes i feel like let's go back to background story living with my sister who was married there's a lot of things that I encountered but first of all let me put this disclaimer out N you can't compare somebody's marriage to your future marriage neither can you compare somebody's life to your life because everybody is wired differently when it comes to destiny your destiny is different from somebody's destiny so whatever someone is going through it could not be the same as you go through I just wanted to put this across so that you don't say that oh Naneke is talking about what someone went through so she might also went through the same she might also go through the same thing no that's not what I'm saying but myself you know sometimes you meet that dude that cute guy and then she like proposed to you and then you go like <laughs> oh my god he's cute but <laughs> marriage mm -mm, no marry because marriage is something you cannot run away from it but my number one fear when it comes to marriage is the misconception of submission when it comes to women the bible says a man will love the wife and the wife will submit to the man but it is rather unfortunate that all the marriage counseling or all the marriage issues that i have heard or I have come across they always preach women to submit women are not submitting and i go like hello why are you changing what god said god said man love your wife women submit to your husband so why are you changing the whole scenario the scenario is for a man to love a woman and a woman will submit but men are disrespecting some men doesn't love but they claim to be respected that is something that I don't understand and you know fearful enough there are men who always have this misconception that women should automatically submit no matter what it is but I just want to understand it proper because I know that submission is a natural thing it just comes naturally when a woman is loved automatically he sub she submits so you can't say that a woman should love or a woman should submit whilst the man is not submitting and sometimes when I think about the whole thing about marriage submission and love it scares me is there anything wrong with that yeah but I'm dealing with it so don't come at me okay all right so the next thing that I'm, I'm 
I'm really scared when it comes to marriage is the fact that you need to ask permission everywhere you go. <laughs> in fact, you're going to visit your family, you need permission. Buy anything, you need permission. Oh my God. Every, in fact, your whole entire life, you need permission to do everything. And I just don't understand. I need permission to do this. I need permission to do that. You know what? I have been single for five years. Let's 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 let's, let's put that just out there. Yeah, I've been single for five years. I can go to the parties. I can go to the cinemas. I can go to the movies. I do everything on my own without asking permission. But the moment I got married. I need to ask permission. In fact, not the permission alone. You have to ask permission prior to the day you want to go to wherever you want to go or wherever you want to go. And I'm like, really? How? Oh. How? Hmm. Oh. Girl, how are you going to do that? Like, you know, but hey, it's all about adjustment. I know. I. I don't come at me i know it's about adjustments i need to understand the person the person need to understand me they, they should be loud yes continue preaching that's true but you have no idea how the transitioning is going to be when you have been single for a very long time and you get married and at that very process you need to hmm, adjust like fast forward to what your husband wants and you do of which it scares me honestly it scares me to be honest with you it does now one of the major thing that some women and i'm part of the women we don't get it is when you know what what men, to me i believe like i believe that to me i believe that men are not really strong i believe men are weak not in a bad way but the only thing that makes me a man stronger in his pride and a man knows that whatever that i am doing being it good or bad especially when it is bad the pride in that man will never allow him to say that i am sorry or maybe yes the pride in men prevents them to be vulnerable and to me i am moved by men who are vulnerable there's nothing wrong to be vulnerable there is nothing wrong with that but my problem is some men are scared to be vulnerable because of their pride and then the pride doesn't allow them so they know that this thing if i listen to the woman it will help us as a couple but the fact that the pride is there he is not and sometimes if i look around especially leaving my house and then the men that I am living with that I grew up with how they carry the pride it's very scary now the next thing that I also want to talk about is this if you you stayed with men you would definitely understand this one I have been living with like three four men in my house and I see a lot of things like you know what I mean yeah girls girls yeah i see a lot of things and sometimes you feel like one is coming and the other one is going one is coming the other one is going one is going and someone is coming so you ask yourself like if i get married is this what is going to happen is it that men are not like competent with what they have but you can't blame them i understand nobody can blame them because they are moved by what they see and they always want to explore what they see but sometimes it, it's, it's a bit scary when you know that a woman has visited a guy they've done everything cool pump it. and my brothers are very cool like they're awesome like they know how to treat a man they know how to treat a woman they know how to make a woman feel pumped and all that but my problem is then why can't they stay with this one person and sometimes when i just sit and think about it it scares me it scares the hell out of me and i'm like god is that what is going to happen to me i know that is not what is going to happen to me because my destiny is different moving forward now the next thing that i'm also scared when it comes to marriage is the fact that you don't have any space 
you cannot say me you always have to say us or we and now I feel like that alone is a job on its own it's a job on its own and you know I've heard couple that mistakenly the woman has said oh me or I and then the man like did he just say me did he just say I and I'm like hello so what's the big deal here what's so big deal about this there's nothing wrong with it so the fact that you have to say me you have to say we instead of me is a big transition for me and the fact that you have to share your space no matter how big or small the space is you know what sometimes I feel like I don't want to bath in the evening or I wake up in the morning I want to bath the time that I really want to bath or I want to go wherever I want to go as in when I want to but when you get married you don't have that luxury to do whatever that you want to do so somebody will be watching me and then ask that like but still you can still do whatever you want to do and I'm like okay that's possible but still you have restrictions in certain things that you have to do you don't have your freedom like you don't really have that freedom that you used to enjoy as a single woman but now you need to share your freedom with someone you need to share your space with somebody no matter how convenient how comfortable that you are you still need to share and like hmm yay jesus <sighs> that day is going to be awesome no because i'm i'm that woman that i want to put things at where they are i'm a principled person i'm a very organized person and sometimes some men are not really organized and to me i have learned that when you start a relationship you have to let the person know who you are your morals your principles the things you like and the things you don't like but some men feel like I'm the man. You do what I say. You don't have any say. I'm like, hello, hi, bro, bye. No, there's nothing like I'm the man. You do what I say. No, no, you don't do that. The fact that it is marriage, it should be two, like two people. So there should be a mutual understanding there should be a mutual planning but some men are like me i'm the man that's when pride sets in and sometimes you look from far and then you get scared of marriage because everything you know you get to some point like some women literally can't do anything in their whole entire life just because they are married and i go like so you're married when you're married you don't have a life on your own you know that the, 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 there are some men that can go to the extent of telling their wives that i don't want you to be with this friend this friend is a bad friend that friend that i've had for years when you were nowhere to be found today he's a bad person what do you know about that person and it's it's, it's so scary it's so scary and then the tradition and then the society that we are living in has made it look so normal that you literally have to listen to everything that your husband is saying like you don't have to disobey your husband you have to do whatever your husband says I'm like so even if I'm not comfortable with what the man is saying I should still listen and sometimes it's a bit scary it's really scary. All right, so let's talk about the next thing that I'm also scared when it comes to not me alone, but I think there's a lot of women I also scared when it comes to. You know, I'm a multi-tax person. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to go here. I want to do this and all that. But the fact that I am not on my own, I am married. So I am restricted to what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do. 
and that's alone hmm <laughs> no no it's 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 too much it's just too much it's just too much now the next thing i also want to talk about is some women are just scared of getting married just because of losing themselves i've seen married women who have lost themselves like the who that they used to be before they got married is totally different from who that they are today as married women some are positively perfectly okay but some are not some women when they get married they lose all the friends that they have they literally lose everything they lose everything no friends i've seen married people no friends nothing and you know what that happened in marriage especially when you live with a, a very abusive and possessive husband you are taking all the pain by yourself there's nobody to talk to and mind you a woman is supposed to release one million words a day so if the woman is not able to release those words and he's always taking in the pain and abuse in no time that woman is going to lose himself and sometimes when i remember all those things that i've seen people go through it's really scary but hey i pray that someday mr right wherever that you are don't do that no don't 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 do that <laughs> don't do that okay so those are the few things that makes me scared of the marriage not that i'm not going to get married but i still advise that if you're going to marry someone marry a friend marry someone who understands you don't marry for any unnecessary reason like money like rich family he is still his dad but i believe that when you marry the right person you're going to have your freedom you're going to have your space you're going to be respected you are going to be free and live the best out of your life because some people are married and so they are they are happy and they do whatever that they want to do so there's nothing wrong with getting married even though there are certain things that if you are single you're kind of like scared but now no like you can't definitely get married to somebody who will love you who will appreciate you who will respect you and at the end of the day the most fundamental of marriage is loving someone who respects you who and who understands you who knows your vision and your dream and will support you and life is going to be perfect okay although these are my fears and i know some women are also going through this so if you can relate please comment down below and let me know what you think so until we meet again same time if you're gonna make it into please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel see ya bye